legal moves to remove Governor Hope Uzodima of Imo State have commenced before the Abuja Division of the Federal High Court. In the first suit, the Reform and Advancement Party, ROAP, and its 2019 governorship candidate in Imo State, Mr. Okere Kingdom, have approached the Abuja Division of the Federal High Court for a judicial interpretation on whether the All Progressives Congress, APC, actually sponsored Governor Hope Uzodima as its candidate for the said election. The plaintiffs are specifically asking the court to order the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to withdraw the certificate of return issued to Governor Uzodima and to issue a fresh one to the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Emeka Ihedioha, as the validly elected governor of the state. The suit is predicted against the backdrop of the judgment of the Supreme Court in Appeal No. SC-1384-2019, which upheld the decision of both the Court of Appeal and the Federal High Court and affirmed Ubumba Uchimosu as the authentic and duly elected, nominated 2019 Imo State Governorship Candidate of the APC. In an originating summons dated and filed on June 25, 2020, marked FHC-ABJ-CS-677-2020, the plaintiffs formulated the following questions for determination. Whether the first defendant, Uzodema, lawfully participated and was sponsored by the fourth defendant, APC, to contest the 2019 Imo State Governorship election in accordance with Section 177C of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Having regard to the tenor, clear and unambiguous legal implications and consequences of the judgment of the Supreme Court of Nigeria in Appeal No. SC-1384-2019, which upheld the decision of both the Court of Appeal and the Federal High Court and affirmed Ubumba Uche Wosu as the authentic and duly elected and nominated 2019 Imo State Governorship Candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Fourth Defendant, and which decision also nullified Uche Wosu and the Fourth Defendant's participation in the 2019 Imo State Governorship election on the ground that he, Ugumba Uche Wonsu was nominated by both the fourth defendant and Action Alliance fifth defendant for the same governorship election. Whether all Progressive Congress fourth defendants lawfully participated and sponsored a candidate in the 2019 Imo State governorship election, having regards to the tenor, clear and unambiguous legal implications and consequences of the judgment of the Supreme Court of Nigeria, in Appeal No. SC-1384-2019, which upheld the decision of both the Court of Appeal and the Federal High Court, and affirmed Ubumba Uche Wosu as the authentic and duly elected and nominated 2019 Imo State Governorship Candidate of the All Progressives Congress Fourth Defendant, and which decision also nullified Uche Wosu and the Fourth Defendant's participation in the 2019 Imo State Governorship election on the ground that he, Ubumba Uchemosu, was nominated by both the fourth defendant and Action Alliance fifth defendant for the same governorship election. Whether Section 177C of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria has been amended, altered or suspended to enable and allow the first defendant participate in the 2019 Imo State Governorship election as an independent candidate in view of the decision of the Supreme Court of Nigeria in SC-1384-2019, which upheld Ubumba Uche Wonsu as duly elected and nominated 2019 Imo State Governorship candidate of the fourth defendant. In case the above questions are answered in the affirmative, the plaintiffs are, among others, praying the court to declare that Uzodima did not lawfully participate and was not sponsored 
by the fourth defendant to contest the 2019 Imo State Governorship election in accordance with Section 177C of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Having regard to the tenor, clear, and unambiguous legal implications and consequences of the judgment of the Supreme Court of Nigeria, in Appeal Number SC-1384-2019, which upheld the decision of both the Court of Appeal and the Federal High Court, and affirmed Ubumba Uchemosu as the authentic and duly elected and nominated 2019 Imo State Governorship candidate of the All Progressives Congress, fourth defendant, and which decision also nullified Uchemosu and the fourth defendant's participation in the 2019 Imo State Governorship election on the ground that he, Ubumba Uchemosu, was nominated by both the fourth defendant and Action Alliance, fifth defendant, for the same governorship election. A declaration that the All Progressives Congress fourth defendant did not lawfully participate and sponsor any candidates in the 2019 Imo State Governorship election, having regard to the tenor, clear and unambiguous legal implications, consequences of the judgment of the Supreme Court of Nigeria in Appeal Number SC-1384-2019, which upheld the decision of both the Court of Appeal and the Federal High Court, and affirmed Ogumba Uche Mwosu as the authentic and duly elected and nominated 2019 Imo State Governorship candidate of the All Progressives Congress Fourth Defendant, and which decision also nullified Uche Mwosu and the Fourth Defendant's participation in the 2019 Imo State Governorship election on the ground that he, Ugumba Uche Mwosu, was nominated by both the fourth defendant and Action Alliance, fifth defendant, for the same governorship election. A declaration that Section 177C of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria has not been amended altered or suspended to enable and allow the first defendant participate in the 2019 Imo State Governorship election as an independent candidate in view of the decision of the Supreme Court of Nigeria in SC-1384-2019, which upheld Ugumba Uche Mosu as duly elected and nominated 2019 Imo State Governorship candidate of the fourth defendant. The plaintiffs want an order of perpetual injunction restraining the first defendant from continuous occupying, illegally acting, and performing the functions of the office of the governor of Imo State, second defendant, on the ground that he was not the governorship candidate of the fourth defendant and did not participate in the 2019 Imo State governorship election an order mandating and or compelling the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, seventh defendant, to immediately withdraw the certificate of return issued to the first defendant and reissue same to the candidate of the sixth defendant, who lawfully participated and scored the highest number of lawful votes cast in the 2019 Imo governorship election, and who was sponsored by the sixth defendant, in accordance with Section 177C of the 1999 Constitution. From Lagos, this is Tina Timothy, News Express Nigeria Television.